Yugoslavia is best known as that big goofy country from the 70s that turned into six little countries in the 90s, amid an orgy of rape and nightmare war. The breakup of Yugoslavia led to a period of such heinous interethnic violence, including acts of outright genocide, it seemed amazing that they had ever been able to live together in the first place. At the end of World War II, Joseph Marshal Tito Braz united the six Balkan republics into a massive socialist federation, despite the fact that, historically, they all wanted to kill each other. When Tito died, the old ethnic tensions reawoke, and the republic started to break away. First Slovenia, then Macedonia, then Croatia, then Bosnia, and eventually Montenegro, leaving Serbia the last republic to carry the torch for the old Yugoslavia. Oh yeah, Kosovo broke away too, if you consider that a country. It's been 10 years since the end of the wars, and since the man widely considered their architect, Serbian President Slobodan Milosevic, was bulldozed out of office. All of the former Yugoslav republics have now applied for membership in the European Union. At the same time, the Balkans is still a byword for barbaric acts of violence, and the entire region occupies a sort of threshold state between Europe and, well, not Europe. So we went to the... Serbia is among the countries that have recorded the highest economic growth over the past seven years in the region of southeastern Europe. Average annual growth of the GDP in Serbia is at the rate of 5.6%. Since the year 2000, the foreign trade volume has increased 4.5 times while the exports have grown fivefold. In the exportation structure dominate the products from the metal sector, food processing and chemical industries. Serbia's major foreign trade partner is the European Union with a participation of 56% in total exports and with 55% in total imports. Serbia is among the major food producers in the region of the Western Balkans. Significant results have been achieved in the production of maize, wheat and sugar beet. Serbia is also among the major world producers and exporters of rosemary and other berry fruits. Great potential exists in the production of milk and meat. Over the last seven years, the manufacturing sector was growing at the average annual rate of 4%. The largest participation share slice is recorded by the food processing industry, metals industry sector and chemical industry. The annual manufacturing growth rate of the 37% in the IT sector is one of the highest in Europe. Thursday, February 12th, and here's some of the news beyond the headlines. Serbia is boosting border patrols to try to bring a massive exodus of illegal migrants under control. Over the past few months, thousands of Kosovo Albanians have trekked across Serbia to reach the Hungarian border, their gateway to the EU. A number of Afghans, Syrians and Iraqis are also among them. Nearly a thousand migrants are apprehended every day. The vast majority of migrants are fleeing poverty and unemployment. And they're making the journey now because travel restrictions barring them from entering Serbia were recently lifted. A recent protest against high levels of pollution near Serbia's largest state-owned petrochemical plant, Petrohemia. Situated in Panchevo, not far from Belgrade, the plant was damaged by NATO planes during the 1999 bombing campaign. 
At the end of last year, local residents were told to stay in their houses when high levels of dangerous chemicals were detected. We would like a future without thousands of children with obstructive bronchitis. We don't want our people to have to ask city officials to help them find medications for cancer and other medical supplies for treating leukemia, cancer and other illnesses. There's also concern about the nearby state-owned oil refinery. Campaigners claim both plants do not have the necessary safeguards. In a statement, Petrohemia said it was working hard to deal with any pollution and that it performed regular measurements of pollutants in order to protect workers and local people. And when